Hi! Welcome to Surviving Schizophrenia with Stephen. My name is Stephen. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I want to talk about how tiredness has affected my life. Now, I'm always tired. From the moment I wake up to the moment I go to bed, I'm exhausted. Part of that, I believe, is because of my medication. Part of it's probably my schizophrenia. And the other part is probably because I have trouble sleeping, regardless. Now, I usually wake up around 10 to 11 in the morning, and I'll listen to music for maybe half an hour, do something on my phone to kind of slowly wake myself up. And when I finally do get up, I brush my teeth and I do my morning routine. Then I go have breakfast. Now, I have a bowl of mini wheats in the morning, and then for some caffeine, my dad makes me a double shot of espresso that I take black. I just find that I like black coffee, personally. And that helps wake me up enough to start the day. <laughs> then by noon, I'm already getting tired again. And I usually end up eating lunch actually around 1.30 because I wake up so late. And that gives me a little more energy. I usually have like a sandwich or a salad. Um, but again, by a few hours after that, I'm already tired again. Very tired. And I'll have a snack at 3, which again, gives me a little more energy until dinner which I eat around 5, which I know is kind of early, but I get hungry. That's part of my medication. And then, like I've said before, it gives me some more energy until around, I say, 8 o'clock, when I start getting tired again. And then I take my meds at 8.30. And anywhere from half an hour to an hour or so after that, it really hits me. Sometimes, almost instantly. Not instantly after I take my meds, but I'll be relatively good, and then this next second I am I'm not in off like that, exhausted. And most nights I have uh, my dad or my mom, generally my dad, uh, spot me going upstairs so I don't fall. Uh, I haven't fallen at night before, but I don't want to take any risks when I'm that tired. And then I go to bed after I brush my teeth and that kind of stuff. And I have my uh, Google Nest play white noise to help me fall asleep because I cannot fall asleep if I hear myself breathing. It's part of my aversion to sound and my misophonia, I guess. And then, I don't know, maybe half an hour later, I'm generally asleep. Not sleeping well at all. Sometimes I do have some nightmares. Can't say I really remember what they're like, but I know I didn't sleep well. Other times, I just don't sleep well for whatever reason. And so by morning again, I am tired. And I wake up, I listen to music, and I, the cycle repeats. It's kind of tough. It is tough. Living and being that tired all the time. Living while being that tired all the time. It affects so much of my life. For example, I don't drive. I actually haven't driven in a very long time, even though I have my license and I passed the test. Because I'm so tired, I don't feel safe driving most days. I would not forgive myself if I had an accident because I was so tired. I feel that would be reckless. Also, when I do visit a friend, um, I'm not there very long. <laughs> I'm it takes a lot out of me to be around people. And I get to the point where I'm so tired I can't really think straight. Sometimes my speech gets a little off and I'll mix up words. So I come home and have my parents pick me up. Sometimes only about three hours even after I get there. And I come home tired. <sighs> it's hard. Like I said, being that tired. Even though I'm used to it now, <laughs> it's not easy. I have tried in the past taking Ritalin, and that helped, actually. That gave me a lot more energy than I had before. But it didn't make me feel good. You know when you're really tired, but you have to work or stay up to study or something, so you have a ton of caffeine, but you're exhausted already? You don't feel good, and that's kind of how I felt. Now, I was awake, 
but I felt sick because I shouldn't be awake like that. It was a false sense of energy instead of actual energy from sleeping or eating food. Another thing I struggle with is exercise. You know, when you're so tired, it's hard to exercise. And exercise is very important in staying healthy. And when you do exercise, you sleep better because you're actually more tired from doing that exercise. And that's something I've struggled with since the onset of my schizophrenia. You know, before then I was very, very, in very good shape and I was very active. I was on a swim team, you know, I was in junior lifeguards, all that kind of stuff. Taekwondo, black belt, made black belt taekwondo, um, basketball, all that. But since the onset of my schizophrenia, it's been very tough to exercise. I think the longest I've gone was about a week of straight exercise. And then I'm so tired, I just can't for sometimes weeks and months. And then I try again, and the cycle repeats again. Which is not good, because exercise is very important. And especially with my, my medicine, it makes me gain weight because I want to eat so much. So exercise would help with that. But if I'm so tired that I can't exercise, then that food and the extra calories turns to weight. That's not healthy. And I've been trying more recently to exercise more. I can't say I've done a very good job of keeping it up, but I've been trying. As well as watching what I eat, because if I can't exercise and I'm too tired, I shouldn't be eating anywhere near as much as I do. So that's another, I guess, issue or side effect of being so tired is that I can't exercise, which then affects my physical and mental health. And so, uh, as far as what I actually do when I do exercise, I will take a walk sometimes, play some Pokemon Go, I enjoy that. Uh, but most of the time, it's indoors, I'll do some squats. Recently I've been trying to do planks, I find that's very good exercise. Strengthens your core. I will do some push-ups, some weights, light weights, that kind of thing. Nothing really strenuous, just jumping jacks, that kind of thing. I'm not swimming anymore. I'm not running like I used to in junior lifeguards. I'm not playing basketball and getting actually very good exercise there anymore. Which is kind of sad for me. Because I used to be very active and I can't really anymore because of my exhaustion. It's hard, but that's the kind of exercise I do now. It's a lot less strenuous, but it's the most I can do right now. Yeah, it's a struggle. I'm used to it, but it's still a struggle. So that's kind of how I live. It's kind of how tiredness affects my life. And sometimes I can push through it. I get some sort of adrenaline kick or something, I don't know, that just kicks in after being tired for long enough. But of course, I have to make up that time later, because adrenaline does run out. I have to rest. But I don't take naps, actually. It's just something I can't really do. But I do have to just sit, pretty much do nothing, maybe play a game or watch TV. Something that doesn't require any kind of physical energy. And then I kind of recover back to my standard level, which is still very low in terms of energy. So that's one of my struggles with my schizophrenia, being that tired. And I hope you all had enjoyed this video and maybe learned something about how I live <laughs> with extreme tiredness. And I hope you have a happy and healthy rest of your day.